Okay, I just wanted to make this little video here to show how my um, castle defense worked that I had shown in the other video, the setup and how the setup actually functioned. And you'll see here that I gained 280 honor by defeating this peasant army that attacked me, and I only lost one archer, uh, while the enemy lost 25 peasants and 4 archers. And let's go ahead and view the battle. So you'll see that I've got these uh, towers, these eight towers, um, set up consent, uh, concentrically around my castle and that the archers on them can attack multiple fields of fire. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately this, hold on a second, unfortunately this tower I, I, I didn't have enough archers to put on it and that's why they attacked this side. Um, but you'll see as these guys get closer that I have four or five towers that start attacking it. And the peasants won't attack the towers. They're not allowed to attack towers. They can only attack walls. So now you see I've got f three towers shooting at them, plus my uh, castle keep. And the only guy that dies is my one archer because their archers killed him. Now I've got another tower in it. And they won't even break through the first, or through the second wall before they all die because my archers are able to smash them to pieces. So that's how we want to set up our castles in the future is by having them stationed concentrically. So we want to make more and more patterns like this. Later when we get access to more types of towers we'll want to have some taller and some shorter because the taller ones will have better angles to reach more places. So that's just a basic overview of um, you know, a defense strategy.